All right. Okay, guys. I want you to welcome, welcome my guest tonight. First, let me let you listen to a little bit of her song, her new song called "I Like It." Before I introduce her. All right, guys, let's welcome my guest today. She is a lyricist. She is a vocalist. She is a writer. She is an entertainer. Guys, I want you to welcome Miss K is in the house. Miss K is in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, okay, Miss K. How are you doing today? I am blessed. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. I want to first give a shout out to the Whispers. I want to let you guys know I purchased one of their shirts. Go to the Whispers store and you can purchase some of their memorabilia. I have a shirt. They have hats. Just want to let you know. So I want to give a shout out first of all to the Whispers. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Miss K, where are you coming from today? I am in Detroit, Michigan. Okay. <laughs> so are you from Detroit? Yes, I am. Born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. Okay, Motor City's in the house. Yes, yes, yes. Miss K, how are you doing today? Like today, tell me what was today. What was your life? What was today like for you? Today for me was, it was interesting. I worked this morning. I actually have a job <laughs> outside of K. Um, I work for Comcast Xfinity. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that, <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, and I actually just left a birthday dinner for my sister, my church sister. But other than that, that's what my day was like. It was nothing special. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, hey, you know what? Thank you, Lord, that you have a, you still have your job and doing everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. And um, I have Xfinity, so we're going to talk <laughs> on the side because... This Wi-Fi be straight up acting crazy. Oh, I get that all the time. <laughs> like that's it's so scary to say like I work for Comcast because people be like, um, yes. Yeah, so about the, <laughs> I'm not at work. I'm not at work. <laughs> Kay work for Comcast. <laughs> right, right. Shout out to Vent Radio in the house in the Shout building. Out to Vent Radio. He said, hey, Kay and Candy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kay. <laughs> Miss Kay, now, I love your new, your, is this your only song? Let me ask you that first before I say new song. This is my only is this your new out right now. This well, I love it. I don't care. It's out right now, yes. All right, all right. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Kay. You're from Detroit, Michigan. Yes, so I am born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. Um, I also, I've been singing my whole life, but I've been professionally singing since early 2019. I like it is my, what, what, what? That was just last, that was just last year. I know, right? <laughs> okay, you're talking about brand newbie. You are newbie. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry, I'm kicking stuff over. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, technology. Right. Jesus. Yeah, I'm kicking stuff. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brand newbie, huh? Yes, definitely. Uh, wow. Okay. Go ahead and finish. So you, you started last year? Yes. What do you guys say? Early 2019, I started um, my music career. And now we're here. So did you come out of the womb singing? Tell us a little bit about how you even came about wanting to be a singer and more. So actually, um, my mom and my aunt, my aunt Robin, they, my aunt Robin will tell you that she's the reason why I sing to this day, <laughs> because okay. she used to have me singing Bridge Over Troubled Waters when I was three. 
Um, of course, I don't remember that. But <laughs> she used to have me singing that. And they used to tell me all the time, like, you used to sing that song. And I'm just like, really? I'm like, I wish you guys had video footage <laughs> because I would have loved, like, that would have been perfect in this time to see that, you know? But, um, yeah, so since I was three, I've been singing. I used to be very, very shy, though, because you know how you have that mother that always wants you to sing wherever you go? I used to be very shy and very, like, I didn't, I didn't see the talent. I mean, I'm going to say I didn't see the talent, but I'm like, I'm, at that time, I'm like, I'm all right. I'm not even all that great. Like, <laughs> let me grow into this, this talent, you know? I used to be very, very scared. But I've been singing my whole life and started singing in church. And then now we have the wonderful Kay. <laughs> now, I love the name Kay. Yes. I share that name. I share that name. And it's actually a family name for uh, my family. Mm -hmm. I have the name. My mom has the name. My niece, everybody pretty much shares that. And we all spell our name differently. Okay. But uh, the way that you spell your name, my mother spells her name that way. So, you know, I don't even care if you can sing or not. I love the fact that your name is Kay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> your mom is special. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, she is. Now, now, hold on. Now, you said you've been singing since three. Now, you don't look a day over 16. Now, you got to tell us your real age. But I'm just saying that three years old just, just seemed like that just happened yesterday. I know, right? <laughs> I <laughs> Do you know what the uh, the first real full song you since you said that your um your aunt they used to have you sing Bridge Over Troubled Water? Mm -hmm. Now that's clearly a uh, gospel song. Mm -hmm. So, do you know what your first secular song was? Let me think. I like to be honest. I can't because I sing literally everything, so it's kind of hard to determine what was my first. Um, I'm trying to think, I really would. I couldn't tell you. Uh, you know. Well, we'll, you know, we'll get back to that if you remember. You know. Uh, now, tell me a little bit about the Motor City. Now, you just said you sing. Mm -hmm. You sing everything. How was that like for you growing up in the Motor City, where Motown? History touches. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it's great growing up in you know the Motor City. You know, this is where a lot of the legends are born, and you know we're born at. And I plan to be one of those. I'm going to be one of those. So let's just say that. <laughs> but um, it's go ahead, great. speak it. I'm sorry. Speak it. Yeah. Speak it. You know, there's like to me, there's no place like Detroit. Um, it's very versatile it's very fun it's full of talent um i just love being in this space with such great people <laughs> you know like every place has its bad parts or whatever but i love Detroit. Mm -hmm. i love mm -hmm. the city i do too so i'm from indianapolis indiana that's where i'm at and i have to tell you uh go coat <laughs> go pacers <laughs> you know whenever we do get a chance to get in there I'm I'm bandwagon all day long, and I ain't even gonna lie. Oh, <laughs> that's the sports, Jesus. <laughs> what? That's not your, your area. I mean, no, I, I like sports, but you know, we we praying for Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. Now I don't even know this might have been before your time, before you was probably walking. Mm -hmm. Detroit Pistons at that time they had a great yes. roster. Oh my goodness. <laughs> With Bill, uh, Come Bill on Wallace, now. all of them. I, I love them back in the day. Yes, definitely. I agree. That was the best time. That was the best time that I feel like it was a great era. Yes, definitely. for Detroit. Mm -hmm. Correct. Over, uh, some of your musical influences since you were in the city, where all <laughs> the greats are from. Well, um, of course, Beyonce. That's goes without without too much thought but um Aaliyah I love Aaliyah God rest her soul um I actually went to Detroit School of Arts where she graduated from um yes, yes. um I also love um Rihanna I'm a big fan of Rihanna and like I, I love all I love a lot of artists honestly but those are like my main my top three 
the women, you know, I love them. I love them. <laughs> now, at the beginning, I was playing your song, I Like It. Okay. Now, how did we get about, how did you come about choosing the song title? Tell us a little bit about the production behind it as well. Okay, so I Like It came from me being newly single at the time. And the song was written to display me being free, wanting to have fun, you know, enjoy life, being that, you know, just wanting to have some good fun with your friends, you know, because you, everybody has that song, you know, you know, there's that song that you're getting dressed to, a song that you're riding with your friends with. I like it is that. And I think it has the potential to be that plus song. So the production, I mean, I like it came from, you know, just, you know, the, the way the beat was, it kind of just came, you know, my sister, Carrie, Shout out to Carrie Carrington. She is dope writer, really great writer, and she definitely that's that's it. <laughs> that, that's it for sure. So, did she actually write the lyrics for you? Yes. She she wrote on I like she wrote I like it. Yep, she wrote I like it. Okay, okay. So when you started, you get into the studio. You guys wrote it. You were laying it down. Now, did you listen to the track first before you decided to? Lay your vocals down on it? Yes. The the track came first, for sure. Okay. Tell us who's the producer. Um, DJ Pac-Man. And um, DJ Pac-Man is the producer on it. And then we have uh, Luther, Luther J. He's the one who, you know, made the song as well. Okay. Now, I have to tell you, when I first heard the song, I have to tell you, it sounds a little bit of familiar, like I have some mm -hmm. thoughts that it sounds a, like some yeah. couple, actually. The, the track sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Sounds like M2, M2 yeah. Me, Juicy. Yeah. <laughs> and the words, I like it, and how you sing it, it sounds like you kind of took a little bit, or the writer took a little bit from the debarge. Yep, it gives you that no. as well. Yes, yes. Tell us about that particular... <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that decision to choose that track. Because to me, it sounds like it, you guys are still wanting to capture not only the era now, but you still want to capture a generation before that as well. Right. So, so is that... I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. It, it, go ahead. Yeah, so with I Like It, basically, um, everybody loves a song that they can instantly gravitate to and instantly learn, know the words to it. Like, when you listen to I Like It one time, you're going to be singing it. Like, there's no doubt. I have never ran across anybody that hasn't listened to it and didn't know just the chorus by itself because it's, it's very catchy, you know? So being hearing the beat, instantly you gravitate to because it's like, it, it is familiar, and it gives you that um, old school with a little bit of new school feel, and also the ballroom feel. You know, that's it's it's a lot that comes with that song. So, yeah. Do you two step? Yeah, a little bit. I, I got my little <laughs> two step going on. <laughs> I can't even do it. So I'm just lying. Even gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I, we, I can't we, even we, do it. We gonna get a a, a ballroom to it, and we gonna teach you. You go learn it. Okay. All right. Now, I was in Detroit last year. So, hey, you know, you guys ain't nothing but like four hours away. So, trust me, when all of this is safe for us to come back, yeah. I will be there. Come on. I will be there. <laughs> now, you said you just was recently single, newly single. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. So, if you did not write the lyrics to that song, then how did you... Like, how did it apply? Meaning, did the writer of the song ask you how you felt? What was you going through at that time? And did that person actually feed off of your energy? Tell us a little bit about that. So, actually, what happened, um, when I first, like I said, I started January last year. And um, DJ Pac-Man actually sent me a few tracks. I reached out to my sister. I'm like, listen, um, I'm I'm getting ready to take this serious. You told me you're a writer. 
let's see what we can do. So we actually, me and her both actually wrote two other songs prior to I Like It. And then um, she took I Like It home, came back and was like, this is it. We heard it and was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, wow. So that's what happened. Um, so it came about that way. So she, when we first started writing, you know, she pretty much knew my story because the first song was more so, um, it's a song called What If, you'll hear it later on down the line. Um, and it's a, a personal song, you know, pretty much about what I was going through at the time. And so she pretty much took my feelings and what was happening in my life at that time and wrote I Like It. So yeah, so I like it is still me. <laughs> she just wrote it. With this being your first and only song out right now, mm -hmm. do you plan on writing on the rest of your project? Oh, yeah. No, I have a lot of songs that I wrote on. My next single, actually, okay. I um, wrote on. It's, it's called... Nice. That, you know, you guys will see that early summer 2021. How involved are you in the production side of everything? And actually, just how, are, how involved are you in the whole entire process? Um, Besides I'm, the fact you have other people writing for you, how involved are you in so like, the I, whole entire process? So out of all of the songs that I have, um, maybe two or three that I did not write on. Like I didn't, you know, have any input. But the rest of the songs, I pretty much, I make sure I put some type of input or I write on them. So I'm, I'm pretty much involved 100% in everything that, you know, I have. That's great. That's great. And have you performed anywhere? Yes, I had um, a performance a few months ago. It was a youth event. Um, it was pretty fun. It was exciting. It was really great to be able to feel like a celebrity because the kids took me as that. Like, they was so excited. Like, oh, my gosh, Kay. Like, they don't know who I am, but they see this, you know, this beautiful young girl that's singing and that's, you know, vibrant, that's smiling and just, you know, my vibes gave the kids something really great to talk about. So it was really fun to be able to, you know, perform. That was, that was actually my first official performance for I Like It. So it was really fun. Now, before everything hit with COVID and it just went, ah! right. you know, like just made everybody just stop. Right. <laughs> before that happened, was this the time frame that you guys were actually going to release I Like It or... Tell us a little bit about that. No, a lot of stuff was put on hold due to COVID. Um, I like it was supposed to have been released, but timing is perfect. Everything happens for a reason. So I feel like even with COVID, it all happened in the perfect timing. Now, with you being a newbie to the whole entire process, the business, new new song, first song, yeah. then you're new and your only performance this year and everything happened what did that make you actually feel like? It it was a very overwhelming feeling, a good overwhelming feeling. It it made me feel good. Like like I said, everything happened in perfect timing. Um, being able to do that actually not virtually because I actually was there. Um, it was a live performance. People were there. Everybody had their mask on. Um, so being able to be in that position with everything that had been going on that was i think that was the first event real event that i had went to since COVID. so being in that position and being able to actually have fun and showcase my talent and my song to people it was it was a really great feeling like it's all very overwhelming i'm extremely happy and excited for what's to come and everything that's going on now awesome now have you had any radio play um, I've been hearing. I haven't heard anything yet in Michigan, but I've been hearing a lot of people saying that they have heard my song in different states. Um, Nigeria has been playing a lot, so it's been yeah, I know, right? Like wow. fans in Nigeria. Like this is crazy. <laughs> oh so, wow, that yeah. that is amazing. I know, right? So, and I've had you know, um, like. DJ Pac-Man told me things about people saying they've heard it in Atlanta. Um, I've heard a few different places, but being able to actually, like, I, I can't wait for me to hear it on the radio. 
Like, that, I know that's going to blow my mind. <laughs> I, I just can't wait. Now tell us about your, your future plans with I Like. I Like It. Now, we're going to talk about the video here in a second. Okay. But not knowing how tomorrow's really going to pan out with the pandemic, yeah. So far, what do you guys have on the books as far as promoting, et cetera, or anything else? What's going on with that? So right now, um, we are still trying. We are still pushing it. Um, like I said, the video came out two weeks ago, like you mentioned, and um, just pushing it, getting me on radio shows and getting me interviews, being able to speak with people and just get it out there. I've been pushing it every day, all day long. And we're just praying and hoping that this COVID pandemic is over soon so that we can get me out there to do some more shows and be able to broadcast and actually go see my fans in Nigeria. <laughs> Come on, once again, speak it, to, you know, speak it into I'm, existence. I'm <laughs> now, with you being a vocalist, a lyricist, and a writer, now, I said entertainer. So, can you dance? Yeah, I can dance a little bit. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I can dance on my own, right? Like, I, you know, I have rhythm, you know. So I'm sure if a choreography, get, you know, get with me, I, I'll be good. But yeah. Okay, okay. And then down the line, you'll probably have some background dancers and things like that, yeah. right? Because I like it. It has okay. to have something. Get it, you know, get it popping. <laughs> Right. Hey, I like and listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, if when you hold auditions, I'm gonna I'm gonna be there. Okay. I'm I'm gonna make sure I write you down. So make sure when she pull up, push her to the front of the line. I got you. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Now I don't want no favoritism now. We wanna do it right, but I'm just gonna say. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you just released the video to I like it a couple of weeks ago. Mm hmm Tell us a little bit about uh who was the videographer behind that? Did you were you involved in the treatment of the video? A little, you know, I gave my input in the beginning of kind of how we wanted to go with it. Um, a lot of stuff didn't necessarily go 100% as planned, but it turned out perfect. Um, yeah, so DJ Pac-Man as well as Terrence Swimming, they both played a major part in the um, production of I Like It. Okay, and uh, I see you had some cameos in the video too. Yes, we got my 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 family. R two G is in there, <laughs> and then we also what's up? Had, what's up, R two G? You know, R two G, what's going on? <laughs> and then we also have um, King B. She's also an artist on KFM. We have Ryan, that's also an artist, and then we have Shay, that's also an artist on KFM. Then I have my my best friend. She's on there too. Shout out to her. Me and my mom, she made a little small cameo. <laughs> okay. Now, you just mentioned KFM. Yes. Now, tell us a little bit about that. Is it the label you signed to or is it independent? Tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Yeah, so, it is actually an independent label that I am signed to. And it's, it's my family. 100% my family. And that's KFM. We are a, a, a group of talented people that... Um, I linked with them, like I said, January 2019, and it's been up from there. They're one big family, for real. Now, now I tell you what. Now, I heard that you can really sing without music. Now, is that true? Of course. <laughs> yes, of course I can sing without music. Can you give us a little bit of something, something? All right. Um, <clears throat> and you don't have to sing an entire song. Just give us a little teaser. I'm going to give y'all a little piece. I like it. You know, I may as well. Please do. <laughs> okay, guys. We have a special, a special performance coming up for my guest, Miss Kay. Kay, take it away. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Everybody want to know what it is that got they baby girl smiling like this. Well, what can I say? This smile so bright on my face. Ex so mad, this booty so fat without him. Being the best he never had without him. 
slow up, it's time to pull up. Got there to catch him when I pull up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, now, 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 I'm going to tell you something. You just uh, sung the wrong lyrics for me. I don't, I don't know if you know this or not, but I don't have a uh, fat, <laughs> fat. I just want to let you know. So, you know. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Now, are you a little nervous when you get on stage and perform? Honestly, so I'm, I'm going to take it back to my first performance. Um, days going up into the performance, I was a wreck. <laughs> I'm going to be 100% honest with you. But it was like a, like a, a complete life switch when I stepped on, on that stage. I don't know what came over me. Like, I felt like this was it. Like, this is where I'm supposed to be. And I, I got up there, had fun, killed it, and everybody loved me. So I think, because most, I mean, everybody, I don't know anybody that doesn't um, perform and get nervous <laughs> at some point. But the goal is to still get up there and kill it, no matter what. So, yeah, definitely. I noticed that when you were singing, I could tell your emotions were coming out when you were actually recording certain lyrics. Mm -hmm. Now, most definitely, when you talked about the booty being so fat, but I also, <laughs> I heard when you sung the word smile, I could definitely tell you were smiling yes. in that song when you actually recorded. And the other part was where you were talking about a broke Something, something. <clears throat> yeah, I can just tell you was like, like yeah, all like that when you were like that. <laughs> were you doing that? <laughs> just like that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> tell us one thing that you have learned that you thought you knew, but mm -hmm. you didn't know so far in this process. I learned that it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Now, I mean, of course, you don't want anything that comes easy. It, that's, you know, that goes without saying, but it's really hard work and it takes hard work and dedication. So that's something that I learned. Like, like I said, I've been singing my whole life. So, of course, instantly it's like, I just got to get up there and sing. No, it's more to that than just to get on top of the stage and sing. You have to blow them away with everything from your look to your performance to your vocals. Like, you have to kill it a hundred percent all around so that was definitely a process learning that it takes hard work and dedication a hundred percent hard work and dedication i mean do you really even have a time for a, a boyfriend or anything like that because you're working and you're doing k <laughs> listen <laughs> i because i'm single now ain't no brother stressing me out <laughs> Okay, that's what I'm talking about. And let me tell you what, I love this song even more so because it is the newer age anthem yeah. to women. Yes. It gives us freedom. Yep. It gives us freedom for allowing us to let us know that you know what, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay when we ain't with whoever our significant is you know, other is. Yeah. We're going to be okay. We're going to get up. We're not going to be sitting there doing this boo -hoo. Right. You know, no. You're like, you know what? Life goes on. Let me get on up. Let me um freshen up. Get the hair done. Mm -hmm. Put that nice little dress on. Yep. And, get, and step on out. Yep. And, and I've had a lot of people come to me and was like, this is my anthem. Like, a lot of people became single during this pandemic, surprisingly. And I have gotten that so much. Like, this is my song. Like, this is my jam. And I love being able to, because mind you, this song is, is about a year old, you know, since before it came out. So I was sitting in that, like, this is my anthem. Like, you know, I've been single for almost two years now. So it's like, now everybody else gets to feel how I felt when I first heard the song, when I first sung the song, you know? So it's, oh man, I love it. It's it's one of those songs that won't ever get go. It won't ever get old. Right. It's just like the first of the month. You have twelve first of the month every year. So now think about this. You have so many people that become single every day. Yeah. 
So I see your song is going to be maximized even more to its fullest potential because of that. And that's going to continue to be on going for years and years and years. Yes. So I love the concept. I love the song. And I can't wait to hear more from Miss K. Now, I say Miss K because I want to make sure I put respect on your name. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what do you want to tell the viewers and your supporters one crazy thing about K that most people don't know? <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to say crazy thing, but most people don't know this. Um, I'm a gamer. <laughs> I love playing Call of Duty. A lot of people would have never <laughs> known that in a million years, but yes, I love to play Call of Duty, and I'm actually pretty good at it now. <laughs> wow, how long did it take you to get good at it? During the pandemic. <laughs> come on now, if you don't come out of here with a new craft, Listen, or something. something. And like, I, I couldn't believe when I bought my game system. I couldn't believe when I bought a headset. Like, I took it serious. I was ready. <laughs> At first, it was kind of tough. Everybody like, oh, my God. Okay. But it became like, oh, I'm up there with y'all now. I'm like, we can roll together. <laughs> Everybody be like, now, hey, you're a gamer? <laughs> yes. But you know what? We have to find something that we're able to do to get us away from everything that's going on every day. Definitely. Definitely. Now, I have to say you're a very pretty young lady. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now, um, <clears throat> with such pressure that women have in this industry, mm -hmm. um, is that going to be hard for you? I would say no. Um, of course, I, I, it's easy to say it now because I'm not in it. But I, I deal with a lot of it now, especially that I'm single. So, it, I mean, I've, I was locked down for so long, so it became, K is single? What? <laughs> like, it, 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 yeah, it's, it's definitely tough, but I can only imagine that it gets worse. <laughs> I can only imagine. So, I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm as ready as I'm going to get. <laughs> Okay, okay, now stay prayed up. Yep, definitely. Mm -hmm. Stay prayed up. Big time. <laughs> Where would you like to see yourself in five years? In five years, I would like to see myself in a space where everybody knows my name for a good reason. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. Tell everybody how they can reach you, book you, download your song. And look at the video. Okay, so you can find my single um, on all music platforms. K, I like it. You can also find my YouTube. Um, vid my video is on YouTube. K, I like it as well. Um, and it's Rock with K Vivo. R O C K W I T K A Y Vivo. And then you can follow all of my artist pages at Rock with K. That's again R O C K W I T K A Y. And then also my website www.rockwithk.com. Awesome, awesome. So guys, what we're gonna do is when we're on our way out, we're gonna play the remaining of Miss K's song. I like it. I love it. Hey. Good to me. Oh, sing it. So good to make sure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Hey, Miss K, is there anything else that you want to say to everyone who's listening and watching before we get out of here today? I just want to say I appreciate you guys so much. The support has been surreal. Everybody has been so great. My support system has been amazing. It's beyond, you know, belief. I just truly appreciate everybody that tuned in. Everybody that shared, everybody that is continuing to support me, I appreciate you guys so much. Y'all don't understand how much this means to me. And I thank you guys. Not a problem. I appreciate you so much for coming on the Candy Show. And uh, I love newbies. Just want to let you know. Because we're going to be doing this together. We're going to be building together. I love my newbies. Because I'm still new with this too. <laughs> and I appreciate you for having me. Thank you so very much. It's so great to be able to be in the presence of Miss Candy. 
I just thank you so much. When this is all over, I'm driving those four hours, and I'm getting up to Detroit again, and we're going to be, hey, we're going to be hitting them. <laughs> so I don't know. Time, you know what I mean. Hopefully by the time you come, we have the ballroom so we can teach you. Okay. All right. I, I'm, I'm going to hold you to that. Guys, Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of The Candy Show. Guys, give it up for my guest, Miss K. Detroit, Michigan's native lyricist, vocalist, writer, entertainer, Miss K. Guys, stay tuned. We're about to roll out of here with I Like It. Yes. It feels so good to be free. It feels so good to be free. Yeah. Yeah. Living happy yeah. in my diamond fancy. Having a great night. I'm going to have a great night. And never let a broke brother in my class. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It feels good to me. It feels so good to me. And I like it. Oh, and I love it. It feels good to me. Oh, so, so good to me. Oh, and I like it. Oh, I love it. It feels real good. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Bye bye. I like it. Oh, and I love it. Oh, it feels good.